On a remote peninsula in Australia's Arnhem Land, Rio Tinto Alcan's Gove Refinery produces alumina from locally mined bauxite. The refinery was built in the early 1970s and has since had a number of minor expansions. To keep the Gove Refinery internationally competitive, a significant expansion of capacity and updating of technology was required. The only guaranteed access to Gove is by air or sea and the challenge was to increase the capacity of the existing refinery in a remote location and in a community where sourcing a skilled workforce of sufficient size would not be possible. Innovative thinking came up with the solution. The project philosophy employed by Rio Tinto Alcan was to maximize the amount of prefabrication of refinery components in workshops in Asia, then ship the sub-assemblies to Gove where installation would be completed. With this plan, significant schedule and cost savings would be possible and there would be no interruption to alumina production in the refinery. Among the largest of the components were two 35,000 metric ton per day capacity calciners. Ototech was contracted in 2004 to deliver them as fully built modules. Ototech's scope of work included the complete basic engineering and detailed design for the structural steel, including workshop drawings, civil foundations, piping design, vessel design, refractory design, electrical and instrumentation design, as well as the supply of key equipment. A skilled workforce was available in Thailand and components for the calciners were fabricated in local workshops. Ototech fully embraced the ambitious execution concept set by Rio Tinto Alcan and in doing so, extended the boundaries of what was possible with the transportation of pre-assembled modules of this type. The result of Ototech's enthusiastic approach to the maximum pre-assembly philosophy led to significant developments from what was originally considered realistically feasible by Rio Tinto Alcan and Ototech. A consideration of the design was that the modules, including refractory lined vessels, would be subject to very high acceleration forces during the shipping. Complex finite element analysis was utilized to assist the project team in the design of the process vessels and their support structure and to complete the support analysis for the refractory lining of the process equipment. The result of Ototech's design was that each calciner was divided into two pre-assembled modules, or PAMs, which were installed to more than 90% completion in the PAM yard in Thailand, including structural steel, vessels, mechanical equipment, piping, ducts, instrumentation, electrical equipment, and cabling. When finally completed in Thailand, the PAMs weighed approximately 2,000 metric tons each and were around 40 meters tall. Each complete calciner had a total weight of around 4,000 metric tons. The PAMs were moved onto the ship from the fabrication yard in a delicate operation that saw hydraulic trailers driven under the modules. These trailers then lifted the 2,000 metric ton structures off their temporary foundations and moved them to the waiting ship. It was an operation that took hours and at first, the modules barely seemed to move. The 4,000 metric tons of production equipment was secured on the deck and then ready for the 21-day voyage to Australia. The appearance of the ship on the horizon at Gove meant that the complex innovative design process undertaken by Ototech for the structural steel static design ensured that the structures and vessels were sufficiently strong to last the journey from Thailand to Gove. With the ship doctored Gove, preparations then began to move the calciners off the vessel and into place in the operating refinery. The key to the process were the hydraulic trailers. They would reverse the process from Thailand, taking the calciners off the ship and moving them into place. The remote control trailers were then moved onto the ship and positioned under the calciner. The PAMs were transported slowly and carefully off the ship and guided into position on the foundations. This was the final stage of a process that had seen the construction and transportation of pre-assembled modules taken to new levels. Final inspections were carried out with no defects detected. The size and complexity of the pre-assembled module was confirmation of the boundaries that had been successfully challenged by Ototech. The calciner was 90% complete well in excess of the original concept. Significant cost and schedule savings were made and Ototech delivered a significant piece of technology into an operating refinery 
well beyond what was originally considered possible. The two new units have been in operation since 2006 and have fulfilled all of the performance requirements set by the customer and they have contributed significantly to the refinery expansion and modernization.